Have you been able to incorporate your culture into the program at all? Kind of show them the Polynesian side? I haven't, not yet. I haven't. Um, I've really just been focused on grinding, man. Yeah, so I, I haven't got the chance to do Obviously coming, obviously coming in early is helpful when it comes to like learning the plays, X's and O's, but for you, just what have you noticed about the way you know you carry yourself, your comfortability just from getting that early arrival? Yeah, I think I think everything, um, just getting adjusted to the, the, the way college football is played, um, I think the speed of everything was was big big change for me, so getting used to that, and um, yeah, man, um, I really, just college in general has just has taught me how to be a man, so uh, really just coming in early was, was a great thing for me. How do you deal with the hype and the pressure when you haven't even stepped on the field yet, but everyone's talking about five-star, one of the best quarterbacks coming out of your class? Um, it's really just, just trying not to focus on stuff like that. You know, it all starts over again. i got to prove myself at this college level, and, uh, you know, I you know, felt like we worked hard enough to, to get to that point. And, uh, you know, like I said, when, it, when it's hard time again, we go before. What's it been like working with Coach Halsey? Uh, yeah, working with Coach Halsey's been great, man. Uh, he's such a, a fun guy to work with. Um, even in the in the in the, uh, the film room, he's, he's a great guy to, uh, to work with. But uh, Coach Joey's helped, helped me in tremendous ways. Um, so many different ways, just throwing mechanics, all types of stuff. So it's been great. Has he changed anything about the way you throw the ball, or anything technique-wise with you? Uh, no, not really. Um, really, to to drive more off my back hip was was really the main thing. Um, I was throwing a lot of like off-platform throws, and you know when I feel like you know you can make those throws, but they're not as good at all times. So just learning the base, getting back to the fundamentals, and you know using my full power to make regular throws. Coach Alsley talked about your demeanor kind of being a thing that guys can feed off of if you were needed. Just kind of what allows you to to be calm like that on the field. I think from from a young age, man, I've always been like that. Uh, you know, just going out there, taking one play at a time, really. Uh, and you know, um, you know, staying calm under pressure. You really don't look at it as pressure once you once you get out there. And um, yeah, I think it's just always stuck with me as a kid. Do you model your game after anybody or anybody in the pros that you've watched in the past that you kind of try to take something from? Uh, Aaron Rodgers is a big guy I watched, and then um, back to Tom Brady, and then Pat Mahomes a little bit. So. There's a couple guys, and Josh Allen was, was a big guy for me. And, um, you know, now now it's just been been really just Joe now. So, uh, yeah, but um, those four guys in the league were really the guys I was trying to model my game. What from Joe have you kind of focused on to put into your own game? Really the way he just throws the ball, man. The way he throws the ball is so effortless, and, and it's beautiful when you see it up front. Um, so really just um, improving on that, um, I feel like I'm, I'm going to get to that level. So. Uh, once I get there, man, um, I can't wait to see what it looks like. So. I'm sure you probably had the biggest arm of you know, any, any camp or team you've been around. What was it like to you know, show up and, and see Joe actually you know, sling it like he does? Yeah, the first um, time? you know, I've seen him sling it in warm ups for games, so I already knew what it, like, what it was like looking at it. Um, but just actually being on the team with him, and he's my teammate, just, that's so fun to know. I got, I got a teammate I could throw the ball like that. So. He was surprised that you were taller than him when he first met you. Am I talking? Am I talking to him? He said he wasn't wearing shoes. Right. He oh. said he wasn't wearing shoes, but when okay. he put shoes on, he was the same height. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was, new, that was new for him because he's. That's he's new for me. I think I thought we were the same height the whole time, so I didn't know that. He noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you said he baked spaghetti for you. You ever cook anything for him? I have my, my mom cook some for him. Uh, you know, whatever food she'll cook, you know, she'll have for him. Uh, she did have her spaghetti for him. So, uh, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a big cook, but uh, I'll learn how to cook some. So. Was there anything over the summer coming from the spring that you really wanted to focus on football-wise in terms of, of getting better? Was it a lot of things? There's just a couple things that specifically that you want to, when you guys hit the field tomorrow, that you're really going to be better at? Yeah, uh, I think mechanics and, and um, <laughs> signals, really. Once I get the signal, just being able to know what it is and, and call it out there yeah. once I first get it. And uh, Yeah, I think I think signals is the main thing for me. Uh, and just retaining information. So once you go out there, from the, all the film study and stuff that it's easy when you get out there. Joe talks about how he's pretty open about everything, you know, his life, football, you can ask him anything. For you, as when you're incoming, how does that make you trust him as a leader <laughs> that you can ask him not only think, anything about football, but life in general? Yeah, my trust has always been in him. Um, I know he's going to go out there and get the job done. And uh, Really just having him there, it's just been great for me. Um, I think all the guys have the same belief as me in him. And, uh, 
you know, he shows that uh, every day. When you kind of look at some of the other freshmen that you came in with, what, is, what are your impressions of kind of this class as a whole? Yeah, I thought we put a great class together, man. Um, I feel like this 23 class is going to be a super strong class in the future. Um, you know, we are the future, I feel like, with this class. And, uh, yeah, man, there's, there's so much talent in this in this one class. And then we got the 24 class coming up next. So. Is there anybody in this group? You said you spent a lot of time with Joe, so I don't know how much time you get to spend. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with, um, you know, Ricky, uh, Ricky Gibson, John Slaughter. Uh, Christian Conyer, uh, Nathan Lee Conyer, just a couple guys that I spent time with. I spent spent time with a lot of guys. Here. What have you seen out of Nathan Lee Conyer so far? Say, say again. On the field, what have you seen out of Nathan Lee Conyer? Yeah, um, great potential, man. He's, he's a big target that I can hit. Uh, he has long strides and go out there and get a deep ball. So uh, really, I'm, I'm looking for more in, in this fall camp for us all to improve. So I can't wait. About some of those DBs. Uh, last question for everybody. Hanging out with some of these DBs. Yeah. Uh, about those guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of them, man. Jordan Matthews, I feel, I feel like they're, they're a great class of DBs that we put together. And, uh, you know, I feel like they're all going to do good in, in fall. Did you, you grow up? Many interceptions in the spring, right? Man, hopefully not, man. I'm not trying to throw no interceptions. Did any of them get you in the spring? <laughs> None of them. Um, I know Aaron Beasley got me. Uh, he got me once. And uh, Elijah Herring got me once, too. So I, th I did throw the two of them in there. And uh, Andre Tarantino guy. So, you know, I, I'm going through my lumps right now. I'm learning. Did you grow up watching Peyton Manning at all during uh, yeah, um, any of those? Yeah, when he was with, with the Colts, definitely. Um, the Colts were his Saints. I remember seeing that. Uh, I actually was going for Reggie Bush at the time. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, I've always watched Peyton when he was growing up. I was, uh, you know, just knowing the game of football, really, I, I felt like I knew football before I got here. And, uh, you know, I seen that welcome me into a whole different world so just learning coverages um you know base stuff that you know i really wasn't familiar with before getting here and uh you know the whole coaching staff on and qb room has helped me temper but when hinton and jeff talked about how much this offense there's so much information with the process so fast how, how was that sort of a shock Q, first, Q said the beginning like hinton and joe said oh. when they first got in this offense like the, the way you have to process information so quickly because yeah. you don't play so fast it's a, was it a shock for you that when you got yeah, it the no, first time? Yeah, it, it, was, it was definitely a shock. Just, um, you know, you can see it from the outside looking in, but once you're actually in the offense and, you know, you got live bullets flying and you're, you you got to run the offense, it's just way different. So I think that took me a little bit to adjust to, just, you know, getting the calls out there, getting my reads. And, you know, with the tempo we run, I think, you know, a lot of stuff processes fast in your brain. So you got to be able to maintain all that. And, uh, yeah, I think I've done a good job. With that. How, how important in the spring and even in the summer was it for you to be able to go back and, and watch film and sort of review everything and, and do it at a slower pace where it's yeah. not as live? It was real important. Um, you know, just, just go, I, mainly for me was the, the play calls and signals, uh, the, the main thing I was focused on. And um, Joe, Gas, and Nady, they all helped me with that um, during that process, our assistance. So it's been fun. After this Specifically, I wanted to work on um, just my feet work uh, in, in, in the system. I wasn't used to it when I first got here. So, uh, you know, little little steps that I had to work on was really working on that. Um, and, um, yeah, throwing mechanics, I, I said I went back home and, and worked on it with, with my QB coaches back there. But, yeah, other than that, just really my feet work. How has your comfortability changed from going from the bowl game practices to spring practice to now? I mean, it feels like you've been here a whole year, but it's going to be your first season starting yeah. tomorrow. Uh, it, it's been fun, man. Um, just being with all the guys, getting to know everybody uh, since December. Um, I think it was a good, a good, uh, good thing for me to get here early and uh, get here with all the guys, and you know, just learn different guys and where they're from. So uh, it's been, it's been fun. Nico, how, how different is the middle shift? Because I'm sure you've been, you know, the focal point of every team you've been on for the last few years, and now. With this team, if, the, if everything goes according to plan, you're not going to play very much this year. What's the, what's, what's the adjustment been like? Uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't been too much, man. Uh, I think when I first got here, just, just seeing what we had already and just me being wanting, wanting to be a part of that, that team is, is, is what it was for me. Uh, I, know, I know Joe's the guy, and you know, like I said, I'll be prepared if my, if my number gets spotted. And do you still have the same drive oh, yeah. that you had? Um, you know, I look, look at it as if, if I was going to be the starter, uh, taking every mental reps and all that, and Joe does a great job helping me with, with all that. So. Did you? Run the scout team in bowl practices? Yeah, I ran the scout team in bowl practices, so I was going against the ones defense a lot um, and competing with them. Was that a surprise when they asked you to do that? I mean, you were 
I mean, I mean, no, I kind of expected to be the scout quarterback. I just got there, so uh, it was fun to just go out there and go go against the ones defense and get some reps against them. Were you trying to show them up when you were out there, trying to make them look bad, or you know, just I, trying to give them a good look? I'm, uh, I think with me, I was just trying to give them a good look. Um, but giving them a good look is, is going out there and playing your best. So uh, I was just trying to go out there and compete to my best ability, and I think I did that. Joe might be the guy, but Coach Halsey expressed his confidence in you should you have to you know, go out on the field, a similar situation to Milton going into Hooker last year. Knowing that your coach has that sort of confidence in you already, what does that mean to you? Uh, it feels great. Um, anybody who has um, you know, the beliefs of their coaches in them uh, would, would feel great. So you know, I feel great about that. Is there anything specific Joe has been able to share with you about being the next man up and always staying ready that helped him, um, I guess, do it last year that you mentally or just in preparation-wise that would help you this season? Yeah, um, Joe, Joe definitely helped me with that. Um, he told me to look at you know every rep as if I'm a starter. Um, value your reps against when you get in. and um, you know He told me the coaches do a great job of getting both quarterbacks in you know, to run the Warrens offense so they're ready if their number does get called again. Some of your teammates have mentioned that you're you seem like a humble guy, you know, despite the recruiting ranking and, and some of that type of stuff. Is that natural for you? Did you learn that humble nature from someone? Is that something you've had to work on? Where do you think that comes from? Uh, my parents, uh, you know, they, they, they raised us to be like that since we were young, and uh, you know, they carried over to, to now, and you know, it'll, it'll carry over to the future too. How often do you think you've been to Joe's house? 